We are finally ready to start our kites. So everybody should have your instructions and now we're going to pick up our pieces over on the side. You're going to pick up two big pieces, two of the same color, two large pieces of the same color, two small pieces of the same color, and two triangles that are the same color. Then over on the counter by the sergers, you're going to pick up the keels and you're only going to pick up one of that piece, just one. And as you're picking them up, if you kind of feel and make sure that you're getting, um, especially with these, the two that are right together, because we have to come back, lay this out on the counter and get a symmetrical look. So your kite's gonna end up looking like this, so you can decide how you wanna design it with what colors. When you come back to your seat, you're going to examine the fabrics and make sure that the shiny side is up on each piece. And it might be hard to tell, but the most important thing about getting the shiny side up is that we get a look that's symmetrical, so you have a right side and a left side, so that you aren't sad when you go to put your kite together. Once you get them all shiny side up and I've passed it off, then you're gonna stack your pieces and you're just gonna put all the shiny sides up and put them right on top of each other. And then in the seam allowance, you're just gonna take a pin and pin them together. Then do the same thing with the other side, but you're just going to pin the first two together. Then you're gonna take the big and the large and you're gonna pin them right sides together. So you'll just take shiny side to shiny side and put them like this. Then you're gonna line it up so the sides are even and you're going to make it so that the tail that's sticking out each end is the same amount on each side. Then you'll start pinning in the middle, pin your pieces together. When you pin, put the pins in perpendicular to your fabric. So I wanna see the pins about every three inches and they need to stick out the side like this. As you're pinning, you put the pin through both fabrics. Then I just put my finger right by where I want the pin to come up, not on it, but then I can hold that and get my pin back in the fabric. So we'll do that one more time. Make sure that I have my pin so that it goes through both fabrics and then it comes back up through both fabrics. If you put in your pin just like this and you don't put it back through the fabric, then it's gonna come apart. It's not gonna stick for you and pins are gonna be all over the place. So make sure that you also have a pin right close to the very end where you're gonna start. And now we'll begin step one on your instructions. 